Hello viewers, me and team here, and welcome to another Let's Play of Civilization 4. I have not done one of these in a while, and I'll get into that in a little bit. But first of all, I'm going to be saying what we're doing, which is, and I should uh, increase the size of this for those of you who have the uh, lack of eyes, or good eyesight like I lack. Well, I don't know, I'm probably like 20, 30, or 20, something like that. Anyway, this is the latest Immortal University game as of my creating this video by Habitus, who has taken over my role as the Immortal University host, because I am lazy now, not really. Well, maybe. But certainly lazy in the capacity of hosting IU games. So, here we are, um, looking at the start. Pretty much the settings that I adore, in that we don't have any huts or events. This is a Pangea, so... Yeah, there we are going to be meeting people pretty quickly on this map. That's something to bear in mind. Also, uh, since we're the Malanese, we are one of the best civs in the game, although I don't see our food. So unless I can see it by moving, we are probably going to settle in place. And we'll go ahead and give that a shot. Yeah, I just don't trust moving, because I could easily lose food instead of gaining it. Well, maybe not. Um, if I moved east, really the only places I could miss out on food would be like here or something. And there's, there's probably not deer, although I suppose there could be. But no matter what, I'm going to lose a turn, and I'm just going to trust the RNG on this one, because I haven't played in a while. Yeah. Ah, well, we got dry corn and a gem start. You could do worse with the financial trait, which is uh, actually an early game trait, despite what a lot might think of it. Uh, it's, that's when it provides the largest value over what another Civ would get in terms of a tile improvement. Also, another thing to note is that I have uninstalled the bug mod. Hopefully this will make the game run faster. And I found that I don't need to check for war probs often enough to really merit uh, running the bug mod. It, it slows down the game more than it speeds it up. And hopefully when I do get back to the Earth Challenge, it and I stand by it that I'm still going to finish it, um, then it'll run a little bit more smoothly for me. Alright, we meet Victoria. Um, not the highest unit prob leader in the game, but she expands quickly uh, due to Imperialistic, and she can backstab you, so you have to watch for that. Oh great, another backstabbing leader that expands quickly. This has uh, notions of being an excellent game, so hopefully we don't screw up too much because of my rust. I have played a game or two in the past week or so, or more like two, three weeks, but uh, ultimately, I am a little out of practice, and because I rely more on heuristics than actual planning, especially while casting a game, I can run into trouble. Oh, yay! Another backstabber! What is this, like, PYL backstabber week or something? Well, okay. I'll grab agriculture. And, uh, obviously I researched agriculture because it was the only food tile I had in the fat cross. Might as well. We already have mining for the gems, so... Looking pretty good there. I don't see a lot of incentive to go for animal husbandry too soon, other than these cows up here, which they actually are my next best city. Um, but I could definitely consider bronze working for chops as well, and I think that will open up my production more rapidly. So there we go, and oh my god, yet another leader from the PYL backstabbers. Habitus, did you stack this game this way just for blood? <laughs> you hater. Well, whatever. Uh, certainly, Montezuma builds a lot of units. Um, 35, oh, five more than even than Louis. He has a 35 unit prob. Louis has a 30 unit prob. And he's aggressive, so he's early pressure. The one good thing about this, though, is that he did found a religion, so he might go into the missionary strategy. And if I can get into his religion and other people are closer to him, then maybe I won't be under major threat. Mao isn't particularly trustworthy, but he doesn't build a lot of units, so he's usually not a problem. He also doesn't expand anything like Victoria or Catherine, or even Louis for that matter, will out-expand Mao. Uh, Montezuma's a bit hit or miss on the expansion. And a bit hit or miss on whether or not his wars are successful. So, Monty can go a couple ways. He's not nearly as effective on average as somebody like Shaka. It was just devastating. Alright, so we're picking up the corn here, and I'm really not liking my opening surroundings. I mean, I could do a skirmisher rush, but the problem with doing those kinds of things is that you do rely on the RNG gods a little bit in the early goings if you try to pull a skirm rush or something, and that can screw you over. 
All right, so Louis is the Hindu leader, which will put him at odds with Montezuma. Also good to check in the early game, actually, is who likes who. For example, Victoria seems to have a high piece weight role this game, um, whereas Montezuma, Catherine, and Mao are all low piece weight roles. So look at this instant annoyance with Vicky, an instant please with Montezuma, and then we have instant please with Kathy with everyone, but yeah. So the existence of Victoria here is actually very useful to me, as it looks like most of them that won't share her religion are going to hate her. That's uh, something that I can use as a buffer against early wars, and it will affect my strategy to some extent, just because I won't have to rely on as many early defenses if she decides to go heathen on the major war threats that are near me. But for now, we're just going to continue to... Uh, Put this together. I love it. I love it. You know, <laughs> why a game? Why would you give me gold with no food to work? I, mean, I guess there's still a chance. I'll give a look over here for some seafoods. Yuck. I'll show you seafood. See? Food? <laughs> We're going to pull out jokes from like, oh, I don't know, probably before I was born. Why not? I'm going to grow to three. That'll give me, allow me to work my three specials. Then I'll probably put up another worker. And since I have the access to axes, 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 I, I really don't need to prioritize archery as much as I otherwise would, despite that this unique unit is absolutely amazing and devastating in multiplayer. It's just not as high of a priority here. And in fact, I might want to press my commerce lead a little bit further. I'm going to start researching pottery. Oh, and there's uh, more copper there. Making this an okay city site. Um, if, like, if I drop a uh, city like there or something, yeah, I get some junk tiles, but I can get a few farms running, work the specials. Not the best second city site, but uh, certainly one I can settle and make use of it. Alright, so now we just uh, switch over to a worker. You mine. <sighs> Come on, put that one, wet, one east, please. RNG. I blame Habitus. Ha! I, it's his fault. He's, he moved that fish one west. Yes. <laughs> Actually, he's a much nicer host than I. I have done some mean things to you, the participants in my forum games in the past. You know, I'm much more benign now, but at one point in time, viewers, I was pretty nasty. And I would do things like make minor sieves that have theology on turn zero, and all kinds of fun shenanigans like that. And actually, we're going to skip on the warriors and just get out an axe or two for our early defenses. I probably do on a road network, but more so than anything, I probably just want to get some chops for faster production. I can take an injured warrior, most likely, not guaranteed or anything. And since it's looking like I don't have a lot of better options, I'm probably just going to drop a city here. Hold Alt and, and then S and click to get that going. That is if I can beat the AI there, but I should be able to do it. I should be able to beat the AI there. Lots of jungle too, which means I might want iron working early-ish. And that won't really penalize me to go for it. I do already have a gems tile, so that will speed up my researching of it considerably, much like the Shaka game. Okay, they got a chop on this right away. I do want to work some cottages early. Maybe even, um... Well, not so early that I'm going to jeopardize, jeopardize a good yield city here. Barb Archer up there. Yeah, we'll hold off on that just a bit. Just a bit. And I think that's what I'm going to chop next, and then I'm going to road it, and that should help out. And yeah, there's barbs around. Probably going to want another axe after that. And oh, that's where Kathy is. <sighs> and unfortunately, much like this city down here with the questionable gold, this is questionable, uh, well, no, I could drop a city like here or something, grab the fresh water, and then do something like this to get gems and fish, since that is the only tile that can work the fish. So, we're looking at five cities, maybe a sixth here. Maybe I'm going to have to fight for my sixth city. But uh, if that's the case, that's how it goes. Alright, so with the road there, I can pop over. 
and I'll be able to improve that right away. I think the next thing I want is mysticism so I can build a monument and get to the rice quickly. Since I have settled on that being my next site. And yeah, you just go ahead and fortify there. Oh, Barb Archer might kill my warrior. If not if he does, I won't cry over it. Instead of rage mode. Nah, it's really. So, okay. Yeah, this really does play a little bit faster without Beyond the Sword Unaltered gameplay running. I guess it runs a lot of extra checks that you don't have to otherwise. So, I don't know. Nature herself has There's some things the about its UI that make it more appealing to me, and certainly some things that make it less so, and I might have to run from that Barb Archer. But, okay. A um, little bit strange, but I'm going to go ironworking before writing with this start. Um, try and set up my jungle stuff pretty quickly. Probably want to go fishing soon too, but iron working for the jungle and whatever. So, yep, just rode there. Then I can maybe settle and be ready after the, on the following turn. Do you want to grow here? I am going to want more workers too. To improve those tiles, but whatever. Barb Archer's not hounding me too much just yet. And it didn't flip my. No, it did not flip my copper tile. Good. And there is another viable city site up there. Now it's just a question of whether I can reach it in time or not. I'm going to build a monument there to get to the rice as quickly as possible. This city is so so. It's got two hills. I guess I could swap the copper and do it if I wanted, although that would weaken my capital a lot. But it's it's a workable city, um, certainly, and one that's blocking any settling this way from Victoria, other than along the south. Um, probably want one of these two cities next, and then there. I'm not sure I can beat Vic Vicky there. Vicky will probably go for the ivory before that, so I'm just hoping, and I'm probably gonna start chopping out some workers very shortly. But I I do want some barb defense, so I am going barb defense first. It's not really uh, much of a surprise, I would hope. And let's just chop into this. Oh, wow. Um, this will take a little longer to develop, but being able to settle it there would be nice. I get another happiness resource. Um, combined with this, I get a block. Not that I really need a block if I combine it with that. But also I get fresh water and a decent amount of productive stuff, so... I definitely want to consider that, although I don't think it would make a good next site. Anyway, we're going to run back to this city and start cottaging, as I'll probably try to squeeze out one more axe, um, just to give myself a little bit of barb defense, and then I'll, I'll, well, it's more like plenty barb defense than a little bit. And that also just gives me the opportunity to grow and start working the cottages. Okay, Tundra's up there. And yeah, now I get the monument chopped out. Um, I can probably sneak a worker in in this city, reducing my need for it in my capital and the uh, reason I can get away with that is that I have to wait for border pop to get the next really important tile anyway hopefully that archer attacks that axe and loses to it no it's just gonna run away oh man <laughs> oh it's like a who's who of douchebag AI's this game this is gonna be a little bit blood a little bit of a bloodbath I bet you but it's okay I have financial and that's overpowered right <laughs> right well, whatever. Um, yeah, I'm just going to chop after this. Um, I am working one cottage. I don't want to screw around too much longer with the cottage improvements. Just because I do want to get these cities as soon as I can, as soon as I can, basically. Axe can heal up there. Maybe I care about this more than that, too, for the happiness. I can grow my capital more that way. And I think I'll leave this axe at home. At least for now, just as an insurance policy against additional barb pressure. So, we'll go worker settler in that city. And otherwise, I just want to keep this warrior alive for some scouting once I can start opening borders. And of course, Kathy goes into Judaism, so this is going to get a little silly. <laughs> nice religious spread. And not only is it a religious spread, but um, I'm in a religious sandwich, so... Not the best of situations, although as long as I don't screw around too much, I should be fine. 
Okay, chop. And can I open borders with you? Not yet. And yeah, once you get open borders, you can hide in AI cities and your scouting units can pretty much scout the map. So if you can keep you things alive until then, which, it yeah, it's hit or miss, but if you can do it, great. Then you can get a good scout out without a lot of a hammer investment, really. And we're just going to stick this axe here. Alright. And yeah, now Vicky's cities are starting to put a little bit of culture pressure on me. I'm going to want to pick up the gold soonish. Maybe even get another settler out before I do anything else. Probably want a granary here. Um, yeah, I have enough workers there for now. You know what, I'm, I'm just going to drop a mine here and wait for the border pop, which I'll get soon enough. Lots of forest chopping, and I'm not opening borders with her. Uh, I would just get requests to stop the open borders with her, so that's that's no good. Not gonna enjoy that too much. And yeah, we'll just uh, fortify there for now. Or more like, no, don't fortify. Sent yeah, sentry S. Good. That way, if an enemy unit comes into sight, I won't get killed without noticing, and I'll be able to do something about it. Okay. Ooh, and we get iron, making this a nice city, a very strong city, with gems, iron, and the fish, and I can build something to get the fish going ASAP. So hopefully Kathy doesn't screw me out of that, and we're just going to drill settlers now. Alright, get up there. And I do want a second worker up there. Yeah, uh, one worker's good enough for this city. It's going to grow really slowly until it gets that other thing hooked up, so... Okay. Probably just going to want to drill out a lot of settlers. I'd go easy on the road construction and uh, work from there. And th apparently there's a barb city there, but whatever. So next turn I can finish the road here to get an instant trade network with my capital. And also, um, well, I won't be able to improve any tiles right away. But if you don't, then you have to like, wait a turn for the trade routes to refresh, which can be a little bit on the annoying side. And they're not expanding as quickly as they could, but um, they're still they still got the gas pedal down on it decently. So whatever. A couple AIs have opened borders. Can't really capitalize on that Good just yet. In doing what so okay, like I said, just uh, road here, to be read. which will get me another happiness and excellent. Monument right away, maybe I can put some culture pressure on the eventual owner of the Barb City, or even flip it if I'm excessively lucky. But for now, we'll just do that. I'm going to want the fishing for um, one of my next city sites. Mm -hmm. I get the feeling that Kathy's going to settle in this region before she comes down here, so... I do have to watch out for that. And yeah, I'll open borders with you, Alex. Barbs have been spotted where? Down here. Okay. And that's not. this isn't a bad time to get my axe down there preemptively anyway. As I am planning that as my next site. And oh, I screwed up. Oof. Did not have hunting. Not the best play for me, but um, that's not horrible either. I'll go ahead and chop a forest to get the monument set up ASAP and to work from that. And yes, just go ahead and grab it there. And we're just going to keep chopping for now. Pretty strong play to do so. What are my odds against this archer? Pretty high. I think I'll wait for him to come on the flatland. That'll give me the best odds I can get. And yeah, now I'll just put some pressure on this. Warrior's not going to do anything to my axe, so that's fine. Man, I would rage if I lost that. It's like rifle versus tank odds, or uh, better for me actually. Axes just demolish warriors. Okay. And I do screw up that archer down there, so I'll be able to get this out. And I'm actually just going to train up another settler. And um, next turn we are going to worker there, because I need more of those. And I need to outsource them. The quality of the land surrounding me actually isn't that bad, and I want to take advantage. 
so I am a little bit deficient on the axes maybe I want to go axe next that will give me a chance to grow also you know what that's fine we'll grow but what am I growing on to I need another tile improvement we're gonna get it we're gonna make it okay I can can bring a worker back probably should bring a worker back got the monument out here this city's not gonna be able to do anything until I get a border pop maybe I want to bring both workers back check my time we're doing okay for now and does anyone research alphabet yeah a couple of people have actually so we're gonna go aesthetics just for the trade value no biggie there just make sure Kathy isn't planning anything nasty as well Victoria Victoria doesn't usually go for the early declarations but you never know and then okay so no one that's near me is a threat and you know this starts not perfect but there's a lot of things I like about it and one of the biggest ones is just the happiness and I have gems gold and ivory as well as eventually calendar resources that'll make my capital very powerful as for bureaucracy so and I can make six cities I mean it's a narrow making of six cities but um, I can make it without war and that's also appealing I'm just gonna help out with cottages there for now or maybe send them down here to pick up the copper and gold <laughs> as well as get some farms yeah it's a couple junk tiles but I'll deal with it I wanna get access to these resources quickly and in fact I don't really need to prioritize a monument in this city so I won't fortunately they're not gonna harass my improvements too much you go down there and I do have a trade network thanks to the river <laughs> alright so like I said next up is here don't really need the desert gold and I would be shocked if that's Kathy's only source of metal that would be really unusual so once again we are up to five tile improvements in this city so we're not working any unimproved there and yeah, I'm going a little bit on unimproved tiles, but I want to make sure I get the city sites. I find that to be a bit more important. And I don't really have to worry about the economy as much as I might otherwise, just because of the commerce resources I have. And okay, we got another s worker out. Probably start cottaging the capital. And yeah, just double mine this. We're not going to be able to work the gold for a while, unfortunately, but that is what it is maybe in this city you know there are a lot of douchebag AIs on this map and it wouldn't hurt to have a bunch of axes just as defense so the only thing is I am under workered it's fine though it's fine and I might be able to snag a city with that too not gonna convert to anything just yet I am spiritual, so if the AI makes a demand that I switch, I can do so quickly and then switch back, gaining the diplo points from that. And on a map like this, that is a very welcome capability for my uh, leader. So nice to have iron working already. Hell, I might be able to trade it. Let's give that a try. Let's give that a try. We'll go for a little bit of alphabet action and see if we can get Louis to trade that over. I think my odds aren't so high, but it's worth it to get it if I can. Now I just need to make sure that Vicky still hates people other than me. Practicing some cautious diplomacy, and yeah, she'll, I mean, does she hate Louie? I want to make sure. No, she's only cautious. Annoyed, annoyed. As long as she's bordering Montezuma, and that's a good chance, then she'll consider him first. But even so, I'll have defenses up soon. It's really only the really early declarations that'll kill you if you're playing somewhat safely. And even if to play that safely, just somewhat. If you can whip a lot of defenders quickly. You saw in the Shaka game how quickly you can get defenders if you need them. So. Okay. And you know what? I am going to squeeze one more settler here before defenses. This will give my uh, capital a chance to grow uh, as I get to my sixth city. So we're just going to keep uh, banging out the cottages there. And just go ahead and road. 
And I'm going to get a water pop here soon, too, so I'm going to want to put somebody there. They put two. I get that for me as well. Definitely farms down here. This could be a secondary military production city or something. Or, just a, you know, whatever. It's not going to be a GP farm. It's not going to be great for commerce. It has a little bit of commerce, thanks to the gold, but not going to set any records with that there, so no point. Um, here's another city where I probably value the granary higher. And once again, this isn't going to be the best for cottages. Really, the only good cottage city in the area is my capital. Everything else is kind of production-oriented, so this can be a little bit strange for a financial game. And let's see here. Whoop, nope, nope, nope. No, okay. And we are going to try and clear that rice right away. Axe first, actually. That'll allow me to put something down there to support the settler. Um, granary's fine. I will, yeah. I'm not really in a hurry for culture. Oh no, the French culture can give me some problems. We'll go with the monument to get start accruing culture there. That'll work out. Sure, we are always glad to give you fairly minor texts that don't matter. And yeah, they got to alphabets, so... I'm just going to go ahead and flip over to aesthetics then. And how am I from health problems? Still pretty good. I do want to get this corn eventually. You know what? Let's just grab that now. Yeah, I'm only going to get two farms for a while. That will feed the gold. So once I grow to a sufficient pop, it's something. That's for sure. So Alex is Jewish. That's interesting. Oh, okay, here, yeah. My my guy on Sentry did survive and now can explore. Probably only really need one more scout. And you know what? Maybe I should open borders with Vicky just so I can see everything. We'll do that. Get a kind of scout out then too. Really get a look at everything. Yeah, you go up there. It's nice to know what the AI have on hand early on, so that's my plan for that. Kathy is doing the missionary strategy, which is just oh so appropriate. Har har har. She does like hereditary rule, and it does look like that's going to be my tech of choice since I'm not going mids. So maybe I'll have to pick that up for her. And here I am really behind on the worker turns. But... I think I'm best training them somewhere else, because that city doesn't have the growth yet. And yes, definitely want to open boards with Montezuma. I want to accrue some good relations with him one way or another. There we go, there's that holy city. And how are people doing on cities? Five for her. Five for him. Mao's actually out expanding the others, which is rare. Kathy's at five. Six. Um, <laughs> Alex has got land screwed somehow, or just under expanded. One or the other. He either got land screwed or imploded. But the others, um, they'll have largely a fair distribution on this map. And just at looking at that, yeah, I'm going to be on par for number one in the world in land area. Huge, huge advantage if I can just survive then. And yeah, she has iron, so no point settling to deny her a desert copper, which isn't even that great of a tile to work. And oh god, I thought there was a settler there for a second. I would not have been happy. I'm sure she's got some settlers out, though. So it's just a matter of time. Lots of Judaism being spread. It's now in uh, three of my cities, including one that can just culturally pressure the barbs. 41 turns, baby. <laughs> I'm going to need better than that if I want to hold on to that city. But okay. Um, yeah, you go there. And since I have the open borders, I think I want to go and go ahead and road in there. That should help me out. And yeah, these cottages, huge boon early on, helping me fund the expansion. And I just need to get aesthetics. Not really relying on much in terms of other things, though. And I, I do want to get the library there for culture, but I want some axes for defense now. So I'm going to queue up the axes first. 
And you can just go ahead and explore there. Yeah, once you can start using AI roads, the exploration just starts going so nicely. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing in that regard. And we'll just go ahead and mine the gold now. Get our plus three happiness, plus four with calendar, more with trades. And when you have a Pangea like this, you can get trades very easily. Yeah, this is why I want the culture here, because she will eventually start pressuring me. Although with a library and some religious buildings, it'll be hard for her to break me, especially since she is not creative. But all right, we got it. We got our six cities, which is apparently hard to reach on this map as it happens. All right, so there's the west coast. Um, okay. Yeah, look at that scouting. Such good scouting. You don't need a lot. You just need to try a little bit. And the information is worth it. I'm going to go ahead and chop the granary out. Alright, so that looks like the uh, west coast there, like I'm saying. And... Hmm. It's going to be problematic. They're going to capture Jute, I think. And give me griefing. That's some good griefing. Oh, so Alex is over there, so that's not the west coast, actually. It's good to find those kinds of things out early. And yes, Monty is to the east of Vicky. It's uh, looking like a split between Judaism and Hinduism, and Buddhism is kind of a heathen thing. So that's not the bestest world for Montezuma. And yeah, once this gold is hooked up, I will be able to work it, which is handy. Not a lot of whips for me this game, but haven't needed them. <laughs> I'm actually kind of lowest, lower on food and higher on other things. And oh god, her creative trait is going to maul me. Okay. So I'm probably going to want to yeah, just go with this. Um, I think I'll go ahead and... Oh, this is already in that cross. Okay. I'm going to want to start chopping these things just to get the culture out a little bit sooner. Yeah, I'll go there. Yeah, just using AI roads to explore is so nice. All right, trade network. Go trade network. Look at the difference that makes. Okay. Oh, I do have the aesthetics. Art and the enemy has been spotted. Frame. Where is it spotted? Oh, Art just the there. Okay. Truth. Art for the sake of the good and beautiful. That is the faith that I am searching for. Don't tell me. We have enough on our hands right now. Yep. And who's it going to be? Well, probably the person he does not even have open borders with. <laughs> uh, so there's going to be some blood early on. I would love the dog pile, but it's just going to get me backstabbed. I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot of wars on this map, um, which I kind of alluded to when I started this game, actually. Anyway, I have aesthetics, and that is a Monopoly tech. Let's go ahead and trade with her now before she gets dead or people get angry. And Okay, she does not want to trade that. How about you? Good enough. Words have the power to both destroy and heal. When words are both Actually, we're going to go for these tacks next. Probably won't trade for them, though, because they're rather inexpensive. And... Who do I trade this to next? Probably like this. Yeah, that's good. If Let's get sailing for the trade routes, too. Certainty without doubt and truth without error. Well, you know what? I'll trade for these, whatever. The foundations of knowledge in that's going to open up a lot of early culture and yeah, make my position a little bit stronger. But okay, uh, I think that's a good stopping point for the first video. Viewers, I will see you in the next part. Thumbs up if you like this one. The main team signing off.